10 outfits or items that are out of style, outdated. Are you still wearing them? Do you still have them? Let's find out. Now, disclaimer, disclaimer, this is all just for fun. This is all just my opinion. Many of you, many of you are gonna agree with me and also disagree with me, but that's what makes it interesting. So let's start with the first one. Okay, number one, suede mini skirts. Yes, suede mini skirts. And you know how this was inspired? Kind of funny. Um, the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I love this sale. I cover it every year. But even in one of my videos, I did say that there are certain items that are just repeated year after year after year. And the suede mini skirt is one of those items. I feel like six years ago, this was great. Loved it. I think it's very dated now. I, I would say that if you love a mini skirt, there's some more like better options right now. Cargo mini skirts. I think that was inspired by the fact that cargo pants are so popular right now. So you can get cargo mini skirts. That's just like a, a fresher, like up to date mini skirt. Um, also faux leather skirts, but in like a certain way. I love the, the tight like ruched effect that you can get. And just so you know, throughout this entire video, I'm gonna share what's out of style and then ways to fix it or better options to wear. And all of the good options will be linked down below. Now, another mini skirt that's out of style and this could be controversial. It's the denim mini skirt. Yes, like the short jean skirt. Um, we're just not seeing them nearly as much as we used to. It's not terrible, but I think a better option for this year would actually be the long denim skirt, which I know some of you are cringing right now because here I agree. There's, there's a right way to wear these and a wrong way. So here, th th this, bad, so bad. It's like a boring shirt, long denim skirt, ugly flats, like, yeah, if you wear it like this, this looks bad. But if you get one that has a nice slit up the side or in the center, not only does this actually allow you to walk better in the long skirt, because denim really isn't very stretchy, but the slit gives it some little sexy flair. And if you wear maybe boots with it or heels with it, you'll get some slight elevation. And this is just a style that is making a huge comeback for this year. Let's stay in the denim category for a minute. So the next outfit or item that you wear with these outfits that's super out of style, and I feel like a lot of you are gonna agree with me on this, it's the tight or fitted denim jackets. You guys probably have this in your closet. I mean, I think I do. Yeah, I see one right over there on the other side of my closet. Like, I feel this will come back around. But right now, um, I definitely think if you're still wearing like a Levi denim jacket, maybe dark wash, light wash, it doesn't really matter. But it's 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 short, it's fitted, it's tight. Um, I just think it's kind of making your whole look a little bit dated. Uh, the, the, the better option would really be just the oversized denim jacket. Um, so there's, a, again, a lot of options with this. It doesn't matter if it's light wash, dark wash. It could be a, even a black denim jacket. It could have some distressing on it. It could have patches. Like there's a Free People one that's just like amazing with some cool little um, patches on it. I think as long as it is slightly oversized, it'll look more like a, a 2023 outfit. Now, small fitted blazers are literally the exact same thing. So if you are still wearing these types of blazers that are shorter, they're fitted, they're tighter. Unfortunately, I do think it's making your entire outfit a little out of style. And I know I already said the disclaimer at the beginning, but then as the video goes on, I start to get guilty. And I, I just wanna say, if you love something, you wear it. Who cares what I think? Who cares what anyone else thinks? I still love making these videos. I know you guys love watching them. I think a lot of you like to disagree with me, which is also totally fine. But I, I wanted to make a point about the blazers because I love a good blazer. A lot of people think that if you, if you, if you were wearing an in-style blazer, it needs to be massive. It needs to be oversized. You need to be swimming in it. And I just disagree with that. I think that style is it, it's in, but I don't think everyone has to wear it like that. I think if you just wear one that is slightly bigger or slightly oversized. It still can fit you normally, but it's just the overall style is a little bit bigger. I mean, you're seeing examples here on the screen. I think that is just so much better for 2023. Um, and they can be in so many different colors. I love bright colors. I love neutral colors. I just love a good blazer. Now, even though you can wear blazers with jeans or dress pants or skirts or really anything at all, that's the beauty of them. It did get me thinking about dress pants. And so the next style I wanna talk about are paper bag pants, which paper bag pants, it's like this weird style that's really everywhere on Amazon. Like to this day, you, you see them everywhere. I even have a few pair. I used to love them, um, but it's like this really 
emphasized bow, like a lot of material kind of like comes up around your waist. I actually don't think it's very flattering on a lot of body types. And I and I did used to like them, but they're, they, it is hard to style. And and I just think that they've just, there's way overdone. And I don't think they're, they're really in style anymore. Um, and so a much better option in my opinion would just be classic tailored pants. I do think the wider leg tailored pants are more in compared to skinny or really tight dress pants. Um, but overall, I think this is easier to style. It's much more flattering. You can wear it in so many ways and it's just a much better option. Next we have sweater vests, but with a blouse underneath. And what's interesting about trends, when a trend blows up overnight or comes in with a vengeance, it leaves with a vengeance too. And the, the sweater vest is a perfect example of that. I mean, overnight, everyone was wearing the white blouse with a sweater vest over top. And I I, I think now, now it's just, it's, it's so outdated in my opinion, but I do think, and what's interesting is I do think that wearing a sweater vest or really even just like a sleeveless sweater with nothing underneath, that can look okay. And I actually did just buy one. It looks very preppy. I kind of wear it to go play golf. Here's some other examples that you can get and you can and you see, and I feel like this looks normal, this looks fine. But once you add a blouse underneath, not so good. Speaking of vests, I have more things I want to say about vests. Faux fur vests and also quilted vests. Out of style, bad. Let me show you examples. I mean, faux fur, I feel like, I don't know. Honestly, this kind of regains some popularity in recent years because all of the designer brands and fashion brands were like, I'm never making anything with real fur. So let's just use faux fur. And so it kind of like got popular again. It's still bad. It don't, I don't think you should wear it. I Again, this is, I think you kind of agree with me on that one. But then there's also the quilted vests and like they're again fitted. They just, they make you look old. I'm so sorry. And it's fine to it's, age gracefully. It's fine to get older. I think this is gonna make like put some years on you though. Um, so if you want to look younger, more up to date, try the uh, puffer vests. And, and you don't have to love this. It could just be something that you just don't love. And I don't love, I don't really love vests either. I feel like they're a nice little fashion statement. I, I feel like I want them to keep me warmer, but it just, it make, it doesn't work. Uh, but still, the, the puffer vests are really in. Um, they can be longer, they can be cropped. Um, both, are, both are a good option. And so if you're a vest fan, go for this instead. Now let's get back to the basics, guys. Let's talk about t-shirts and sweatshirts. The ones that I think look very out of style are the branded logo t-shirts and sweatshirts. Now, I know graphic tees and sweatshirts can look okay. I'm gonna show some good examples, but anything with like Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, like just brands on the chest, I feel are just not good anymore. Um, and so let me show you some better options. If you need something on the shirt or sweatshirt, there's the city ones like Los Angeles, Nashville, like the graphic tees that look kind of vintage, like that can be okay. But honestly, I would say, just go back to just the basics of just nothing, like blankness. I think that looks so good. There's these Amazon Essential basic tees where it's like a two pack and you can get them in so many different colors. I love those in the scoop neck. I think that looks the best compared to like a V neck, but it's obviously your choice. I think an oversized tee is really great. Even just like a nice white oversized tee. There's also the body suits that are very tight and slimming. And I feel like you can add that under anything. Um, it's just great to have those. Oh, and then the collar, the collar collared uh, sweatshirts. I, oh my gosh, I always talk about these. So we can't forget those. That is also a much better option. Now, another shirt style that I think looks so bad, maybe it's just me, but anything that is super distressed, cut out, holy, I don't like it on shirts and sweatshirts. I think it looks so bad. Um, and, and it's so interesting to me that I think this, and, and I do, I, I really do think that this is not in style. But again, let me know in the comments what you think. It's interesting though, that if you add holes to a pair of jeans or even just like a cut off pair of denim shorts, this looks fine. There's frays everywhere, like super distressed. Um, this looks fine to me, but once you add holes to shirts, I don't know, I don't like it at all. So I think if you are loving the distressed vibe, I would go for something that is either stonewashed or faded, something that maybe looks slightly vintage. Uh, the Here I think are, are some really good options. I actually have a sweatshirt from Amazon that is what they call 
how stone washed it, it looks a little bit faded. Um, it's great quality. And every time I get so many compliments on it. Like if I'm wearing it on Instagram, people are like, get, send me the link to that. Um, so I know people love the distressed look, but I think if it's done in a more classy way or maybe subtle way, that is better. Now let's talk dresses. There is a certain style of dress that whenever I see it, I think it looks very blah, it looks very boring, it's not flattering, it's definitely not in style, and it's the t-shirt dress. So I love a good t-shirt, I just don't love it in a dress. And so I understand why people might want this or wear this because it is very easy. You literally just like throw it on, throw on a pair of slides, like simple outfit, I get it. However, I wanted to suggest a better option. It's actually this, I don't even know what you call it. It's, it's a dress, but it has shorts underneath. It's kind of like a jumper dress. And I'm pretty sure Free People has brought it alive and you, uh, you can get it uh, like a better option on Amazon, which I will link those because I, I feel like you don't need to pay an insane amount for this, but it's such a nice in-style dress and it's so easy. You, th you throw it on and you can work out in it. You can run errands in it. You can hang out in it. You don't ever have to worry about, you know, revealing anything because you're literally just wearing shorts, but it's so cute with it just being a dress and it's so much more flattering. Check out this video next where I share 23 Amazon items that I love and use every single day. These are must-haves I can't live without. So I'll see you on over there.